In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an open book handwriting animation effect uh, slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this book design completely in PowerPoint and then given some the shadow effects here. Then one image I have added of the DNA towards the right side of the page. Uh, and then here on the left page, I have just put one hand image which I have uh, taken from the net and removed the background, which I am going to show you how I did that and then when i click it will start writing it so you can see here it start writing this is the point one this is the slide one also then when on my next click it goes to the slide two and then it will write the point number two then the point number three so like this you can add the points and you can draw the images or whatever and one more slide which i have made you can we can see here this one somewhat i have just make it more broader and then here also it comes something like this then second point comes like this and then the third point i've just made it some zigzag kind of things you can see here like this also you can just do it so let's see how to do this in powerpoint to make the open book design go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here this much size and make sure that this is touching to the this line in the center and later on we can increase or decrease the size depending on the requirement so shape outline make it no outline and then i want to just change the shape for that right mouse click edit points you can see here the four points i'm just going to take this point which is on the top right corner let me just zoom it and I'm just going to bring it here exactly to touch this line. So just drag this line, make sure it is straight. You can see here and leave it. So it looks something like this. And later on, if it is, even though if it is uh, not matching, we can again correct this one, not a problem for that. Now, once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give, I'm going to add one more shape. Basically, you can see here, I'm just going to add a right triangle draw a right triangle give some different color so that exactly we know what we are trying to do shape outline no outline and then i'm just going to rotate it you can see here flip horizontal reduce the size and touch this one to this end and then again this also i'm going to right mouse click edit points you can see here this one i'm just going to drag it down something like this and move it here so you can see here the shape of the page it's showing so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to control d duplicate i'm going to use for future use or the later use i can just select this and this merge shape and i'm just going to subtract it and then again edit points you can see here this also i'm just going to increase the size something like this so it looks something here and then press ctrl d the other side go to rotate and i'm just going to make it flip horizontal and then attach it so you can see here the design of the book is ready the next thing uh, before i change the color of the pages i'm going to change the background for that right mouse click go to format background and from the picture or texture fill i'm going to select any texture you can see here you've got variety of textures so i'm just going to select maybe this one and then you can go to effects and here artistic effects you can just select this one blur size so it looks something like this and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to give a gradient fill you can see a gradient fill i've used two fills one is the light gray color and one is the white color here so if i just change the color you don't understand what i did so it looks something like this so here i'm just using some light color combination and then i'm going to do the same thing here gradient fill and this time the color the gradient color or the gray color should come this side so i can just go here and i can just select this one you can see here so let me just remove the guides so it looks something like this and there's a small gap if you see here, there's a small gap here so again to correct that gap i can right mouse click edit point and then i can just adjust it there's something gone wrong here because of some design so no issues with that one but still look like a book also then i'm going to take this one and i'm going to use it 
as a gradient fill again and this time i'm going to use some dark color black color here and direction i'm going to change it something like this you can see here and here i'm going to keep it so it gives a shadow effect and this one i can select with the eyedropper the color which is there in the background you can see here and you can make it fully transparent also and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate format rotate and i can just rotate this and then i can keep it here send this to back so you can see here the effect you got it and if you want you can give some uh, shadow effect for the photos also you can sorry for this uh, pages also so i can just select this one and increase the distance like this also can be done so even for this also i can just select here go and do this side and increase the distance so you can see here the design of the book is ready now i can add multiple pages or let it be like this only press select all the objects press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key and increase the size how much size you need you can just simply increase it you can see here again if you want to increase further you can increase it depending on your need so now you can see here the design is ready if you want to give some margins some lines or so many things you can do it but i'm just keeping it as a white plain book so go to insert and i'm going to add the text for example i'm just going to add a point number one add your text here and this one i'm going to select the font which is the hand of sean you can see here but uh, you know it is not matching or it is not aligning properly so we need to do something here select the text you can see here the shape options don't select the shape options because this is a text you need to select text options so go to the text options and under text options go to text effects and here i'm just going to 3d rotation can you see 3d rotation and i'm going to select under perspective this one which is the perspective relax moderately so this one comes like this and then you can just play with this you can see here see i can just make it more something like this so it is more it is looking like that it's written on this book also so if you want to increase the text you can increase the text like this you can add it so then once this is done i want to just add the animation to add the animation go to the animations tab enable the animation pane and i'm going to select the appear animation appear double click this one and here i'm saying animate text just say by letter and i'm going to reduce to 0.1 so it looks something like this as if you are writing now the second thing is which i would like to add is the hand effect here or the the image of the hand which is holding the pen so this is the image you can see here let me just copy it which i have downloaded from the internet and then i'm just going to remove the background it's very easy in powerpoint to remove the background so you can just go to simply format and remove background you can see here and all the pink color means that that area is going to go and here also you can see here some hand also it is uh, cutting so if i want to retain this hand what i can do here so let me just do once again remove background and can you see here mark areas to keep and then i'm just dragging it on the hand so you can see here the full hand is visible and just click outside so you got this one with the transparent look and then go to crop and crop it so that you can see here i'm just cropping it and then increase the size and i'm just going to place it here exactly at the beginning you can see here let me just increase further okay exactly i have placed my hand here with the start of the writing the text now there are so many things so many ways you can do write a zigzag or you can write it straight or so many things so let me just add some straight things go to the animations you can see here add animation scroll down and under motion paths i'm just going to select lines uh, or i can just go to the more motion paths also i can select light right left or up or down so let me just select this one so but by default the hand is going here so you can see the small red point here that just drag this one towards the right you can see here 
exactly I'm drawing towards it here something like this okay so and this one double click this and remove the smooth start smooth end and timings I can make it slow and later on we can change it as per the requirement so let me just put it something somewhat down so let me just play and this one should happen with previous okay and if I play you can see here it is writing something like this so this one has to be corrected because the hand I have just moved it up so I have to make it somewhat down all right and then again if you want you need to adjust let me just play this one here when I click you can see here it is something happening like this and still if you feel that this is uh, this has to be more faster or more slower you can just change this one here maybe you can see point one maybe point two so that point two it is somewhat slower so whichever way you want you can see here point two is much slower so i'll just keep it point one only all right and so this is where you can add that one and here if you have any images you can just add it and if you want to add the second one press ctrl d to duplicate this one you can see here move the hand little bit here and then i'm going to duplicate this and adding the second point here point two you can see here and this one i'm just going to delete the first animation effect because this is a second page so the second page we don't need the first animation i'm just going to delete this and this one i'm going to bring it down and again position the hand correctly all right and then go to format bring to front so it happens something like this so again if you want you can just correct the position so let me just play from the page one it comes something like this and then page two it comes something like this so you can see here this is the way you can just do the animation like this so let me add one more page press ctrl d to duplicate this one again bring this down here and then this text i'm going to duplicate this you can see here this is my point number uh, three so this point number two the animation i'm going to delete and bring this down and then here if you don't want this one for example let me just remove this the animation effect on the hand and i can give some different animation also you can see here add animation you can go to the more motion path you can see here there are so many things available here for example you can see here i can make it zigzag also can you see here zigzag so that it is going up and down like this click ok and then let me just move it here again you can make it with previous and double click this again remove this timings you can make it again sorry slow click ok so it happens something like this so but the text is very small so what we need to do is we can just reduce it you can see here something like this also we can reduce it and make sure that this is bring to front all right and then let me just put it here and let's see how it works so you can see here like this also but this is not aligned properly which you need to work something where the effect of the zigzag is minimized okay let me just play again so you can see here like this you can write it also so this way you can uh, do the open book animation effect